Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing Rayman 2 for the PlayStation 1. We could go to the Sanctuary of Rock and Lava now, but first we're gonna go to the Walk of Power. Now, I said that those Power Fist items weren't in this version, but when I was looking for the names of those creatures, I saw the item in the manual. Okay, let's turn around here. There is a Lum behind you! Okay, I thought that happened. Well, there's one over here, too. That's mean. But anyways, if you remember, in the Dreamcast version, when you finished the Walk of Life, it gave you more life, and when you finished the Walk of Power, it gave you Power Fists. And the end of the Walk of Life on this version gave us more life, I think. So I'm assuming this one is going to give us power fists, but I don't know. I can't think of where else they would be in the game. Oh man, didn't think I was going to make that for a second. Anyways, this is pretty easy. Oh boy, lily pad fun. Let's play some Frogger. Let's play Frogger. <laughs> I could let's play some Frogger if I wanted to, but I don't really want to right now. <laughs> that would be like when I run out of ideas. <laughs> um... that won't be for quite a while, so... <laughs> Anyways... We're doing pretty good, only gotta get four more lums. Three more lums. Two more lums. One more lum. And we got it. We got this. Two minutes, 6.96 seconds. Hello. 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 Did we get more life there? Because we sure as heck didn't get the power fist. I'm not sure why it said they're in the game, because I don't remember them being in the game. Maybe it just says that because they're in the other versions and they didn't, the people making the manual didn't realize that they're not in this version, maybe? I don't know. We'll see if we find them later. The Sanctuary of Rock and Lava. Oh boy. How many alums do we have in the game, anyways? Can we check that somehow? No, I guess we'd need to be on the main map for that. So I could jump back in that portal, but I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, take out all those weird eyeballs and whatever the heck these things are. Jump over the brambles. There are lots and lots and lots of brambles in this level. Look at this. Do not jump in that hole of brambles, by the way. We will be going down there, but not yet. You jump down there, now you die. Oh, man. Alright, can we get this from this angle? We could on the Dreamcast version, but then we couldn't get back up. But then again, we don't need to now, because these cages on this version don't drop lumps, so... It 
really doesn't matter if we can jump back up now, does it? So anyways, you might recognize this platform from Rayman 1. Or you might not, but there were platforms like this in Rayman 1. So anyways, this platform is just going to carry us for a little while. We're going to knock out all the brambles along the way. Tell where this is going. Yeah, it's going in that hole of brambles. This is why you couldn't just jump in. You just fall into all the brambles. But with this platform, we are safe-ish. Um, camera. Okay. There we go. But this fire thing will burn this platform, so we gotta jump off of that. <laughs> it burns a little differently than in the Dreamcast version. In the Dreamcast one, it'd stop and burn up, and you'd have to run forward and jump really fast. Here, it just passes through and burns up. So you just gotta jump. This is going much more smoothly than in the Dreamcast version. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, looks like we're gonna have to jump for these ones. I wanna see where I'm skydiving to. Okay, it's all good. I hear Cage, where are you? Oh yeah, these things fall, so be careful about that. Well, it's a good thing you're a Murphy, not a Denny, otherwise you'd be in that lava right now. triangle button, which I accidentally did before it was on camera, you can get across, so it's all good. Now, there might be some lums that are easily missable here. I missed them on the Dreamcast version and had to go back for them. Um, this is not the room I was thinking of, but there's some that are like behind like a wall like that and something you can climb on. I'm not sure if that's in this version or not. I'm not sure if it's coming up. I think it is coming up. I think it's supposed to be after this area. Oh hey, notice it's just fire here spewing out now. No lava pouring down from above. So that's nice. Okay, there we go. I was just like, wait, I've been hearing help. I can't leave now. There you go, Murphy. Our our max health is almost to the max max health. It's like maxception or something. Okay, right here. This is where you want to drop off here. Collect these lums. Very easily missable, except now. On this version, they're not as easily missable because there's also this platform here and that cage. As well as an orange lum, whereas on the other one, all that was there was just the thing to climb on with two yellow lums. I think the cage might have been here, but I think it was like more in front of here, and you just came here and shot back. 
was a lot harder to find those two lungs. Um... <laughs> yeah. I see two lums ahead, but I need three. There'd better be another one up there. Ah, this room's a lot different from the... Wait... Oh, You've gotta be kidding me. This is kinda cool, though. You bounce this off there to hit the cage. I seriously missed a single lum. Ah. Uh. Now, you may have noticed that we just did a sanctuary level without getting a mask. And you might be wondering why that is. I mean, aren't the sanctuaries supposed to have the masks? Well... If we look at the next level here... It's beneath the sanctuary of rock and lava. Oh my goodness, I already have... 694 lums. It takes 600 lums to get through the next door. And that's the final door. So... I already have more than enough to beat the game. Anyways, I'll, I'll cut to wherever this lum is. Um... Yeah, so the lum is in that corner. So... The thing is, I want to test something quick. Ow. If I go out the starting portal, will I keep this lum? First, let's make it back to the starting portal. <laughs> Come on, tell me I'm gonna keep the lum. Don't wanna go through this whole level again. Okay, I do. This is good. So, alright, we're definitely not gonna have enough time for this whole level, but we'll at least enter it. So, beneath the sanctuary of rock and lava. This is weird with these cuts, because now I have to record to 1630. It's going to be weird calculate. Well, I already calculated, but it's going to be weird stopping in half a minute. Like, 1630, that's such, an, such a weird number to stop on. Where the heck do you go from here, Rayman? Raymond, I've got some good news and some bad news. Start with the good news. I've gathered enough energy to give you another power. A new power! Yippee! Ha! Now you can fly with your helicopter. The bad news is that now your mission gets harder. So here's some advice. Use your helicopter power to fly. Just activate the helicopter and keep cross pressed down. Press R2 to move around. It'll be much easier. To fly, activate the helicopter and keep cross pressed down. To move around, press R2. Well, that cutscene ran us out of time, so I'll show you this new power next time. See ya!